Experiment 6, calorimetry, materials needed. Well, I've got almost all the materials I need with me right here. There's a couple materials that are missing. One is the coins, uh, 50 grams of coins. Uh, those coins are already in the freezer because I'm going to run the experiment in a little bit and I wanted to prep. Uh, and the ice cube is also in the freezer as well. An ice cube that you, oh, so first about the coins. So I'm going to use 20 pennies. That's about 50 grams. Uh, if you use pennies, be careful because the pennies have to be from 1982 or newer. Otherwise, the experiment, um, so the composition of pennies, the metals inside pennies changed in 1982. So be aware of that. Otherwise, you can use some quarters, some nickels, some dimes. A combination of the uh, silvery coins would be fine as well, as long as it equals up to about 50 grams. And as long as you know the mass that you're using, those are the important things. Now, um, the ice cube should be uh, be at least uh, or approximately 20 grams. So I have the regular old ice cube tray and my uh, cube came out to 18 grams when I measured it. Now other than that, I've got my sodium carbonate uh, from experiment number four, which I will then pour into my 50, gram, 50 milliliter beaker uh, to weigh it or to take its mass. I've got my clean dry 250 milliliter beaker I've got my scale to uh, take the mass of things. I've got my temperature tester, currently turned off. Also, the uh, water tester as well, but using in temperature mode. I've got my distilled water here. So we will be equilibrating 400 milliliters approximately of it. That should be uh, funny for the experiment, um, and yet not too much. I've also got my goggles on because I'm going to be working with chemicals and solutions. And I've also got a, a kitchen towel here that I'm using on this experiment to dry the 250 milliliter beaker between trials. Um, uh, you could actually, you don't have to use it clean and dry. You do need it clean and dry the first time. That's fine. Take the mass of it. And then as long as you note in your results that you're using the same mass each time, you don't have to dry it out 100%. You still can, but what you can do is rinse it with deionized water. And then as long as there's deionized water in here, when you put the 100 milliliters of deionized water in to do the calorimetry experiment, you can still subtract it off the mass of the clean, dry uh, beaker as well. And those are the materials you'll need it and a bit behind some of the processes for this lab.